for yourself, go ahead and do that. It's www.we6jbobbs.org. Um, BBS uh, is a bulletin board service. Um, back in the 90s, I ran a bulletin board service. And, you know, it's like these old, you know, before we had internet, uh, you used to have a BBS and... Um, you know, you used to have beat board board services, and these are like places where, you know, they were local around your community. You dialed dialed up using something called modem, so like a fifty six k modem, and um, you know, or actually, like I think my first one was like twenty four um, hundred baud or something like that, and uh, you could dial into these local BBS systems. Um, I think there's something like called a computer edge or something where. All these local, uh, like 619, 858 um, area code uh, board to board services, you know, you could dial into one of those and you could, you know, sell things on there. You know, if you had like a, they'd have like a message area where you could sell things and, and, um, you know, you could put, you know, put little ads, you know, one ads on there. So it's like a, you know, little services, you know, all over the place that in, you know, it's, most of them are free. Some of them you had to pay for, you know, subscribe to. But um, you know, it's pretty pretty neat. So you, you know, things that we used to use before, you know, everyone had access to the internet. You know, back when you know AOL was like a internet provider or CompuServe or I think there was like Prodigy. Those those were th- the three main ones back then. So now I'm uh, looks like. Um, the maze area is next, and uh, I'm looking at the top right of the screen, and I'm uh, going through some of my notes. So there's the the maze area is a complex maze. So the maze isn't um, everything is always the same. So it doesn't matter how many sessions of this game you play. It's you know doesn't matter you know 2022 or 1980. The game you know the the rooms never change. The maze never changes. Um, the maze doesn't like you know. It's not random or anything. But the way that it's structured is uh, fairly challenging. So the way that you would originally do it is you would take a bunch of items and you would drop them on the floor because every room in the maze is pretty much the same. It doesn't you know. There's no different names for different rooms in the maze. So it's always a maze of uh, it, this is a part of a maze of twisty little passages all alike. Um, so, and some of the rooms will like, you know, the, if you go north, you know, they might, you know, circle around and go back, take you back into the same room you came from. Uh, other rooms, you know, like one room might connect to the north end of another room and, you know, the south end of that room might connect back into the room that you just came from. So it's very complicated. Um, most of the rooms are, you know, either have up, down, north, south, east, west, uh, northwest, north, south, southeast, southwest. And it's, uh, you know, you're just, you have to figure out, it's just a matter of trial and error. So um, in order to do the maze properly, uh, the first time you would, uh, there is no like notepad or anything in this game, uh, so you're just taking, you know, you're literally taking a, a piece of paper, and you're mapping it out. So you drop, you know, like a, your your garlic on the floor. You go west, and you drop the sack on the floor. You go north, and if you see the 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 garlic, then you know that going north from that room takes you somehow takes you back into the first room. And so that's how you're mapping this, the maze out. So it's really a, a just kind of like thinking out of the box. So this is like during the times when you know a lot of um, of games were didn't you know hold your hand or you know you have to you know kind of you know use the resources around you that you you know use you know a pencil a piece of paper and then you, you know and um, you know there isn't like a, a notepad in the game or anything. So you have to use whatever is available to you. So now I'm, you know, I, unfortunately I didn't have my map with me. I had a, you know, like a page of, of maps for this game and I didn't have them with me. So I'm kind of trying to figure out, you know, how do I get through this maze? And I've made it halfway. Um, 
I found the key, which is used uh, a little bit later, and there's some coins, which is a treasure in the game, and now I'm um, you know, taking those items, and there's another item, a rusty knife, and um, the rusty knife is um, something that um, I won't say, but let's just say that uh, picking up the rusty knife would... Um, lead to a certain end um, ending I'll, I'll just say that um, so now I've got everything that I need and now I'm continuing through the maze and um, I'm still figuring out the maze I'm trying to get to the next point uh, which is um, you know I'm trying to figure out this maze there's like two more entities down here that I need to contend with I I have an egg with me that I, that I picked up earlier and the egg I can give to something and down here and it will do something with the egg and which will help me out but um, unfortunately um, I don't get that far and because I'm lost in the maze and I only I, I didn't think to bring any other light sources so <coughs> so um, I'm pretty, pretty much stuck in the maze. Um, I don't know where I am. Um, I'm, you know, I don't have anything to drop right now. And, um, I thought that I would be able to do it through memory, but unfortunately, uh, the maze area just, uh, was just a little bit too challenging for me at this, this, uh, time. So that's why, um, you know, some time is going to, to pass, and unfortunately, this is where the end of the video, uh, when, the, when the video comes to an end, uh, is pretty soon, because the lantern is eventually going to give up, uh, it's going to give up the ghost, and, you know, now I'm dropping the sack, I'm thinking, you know, maybe, maybe this, you know, I'll figure out, you know, what's going on if I drop the sack. If I come back to the sack, I know that I'm definitely going around in circles right now. Um, so it looks like, yeah, I have, you know, I need all these items right now. Um, you know, every single item I need here. The lunch and the glass bottle I need for a certain part of this game. Uh, the bottle is interesting. If you drink the, drink the bottle, um, that'll, uh, that, it's definitely interesting what will happen. But, um... Um, that's something I would do er very early in the game. I wouldn't, you know, spend a lot of time in the game. But oh, now I've met the uh, the uh, the thief. So the thief is uh, somebody who would help me if I was able to find his uh, lair. But um, and 273 is my score. I have 350 points. Uh, so I'm an adventure right now, but. Um, because I can't put those coins back into the case, it's not adding up that, and because I'm not able to get the remaining uh, treasure, I can't into the case. I um, can't, you know. That score will, you know, that's going to be my score pretty much. So I'm still stuck in the maze, and um, I'm just looking around, I'm going north, northeast. Um, the lamp is nearly out. Um, I have pretty much come to terms that, you know, this is probably not going to work. Northeast, northwest, southwest, southeast, south, west. It doesn't look good. And uh, it's starting to look pretty grim right now. And um, up, can't go that way either. South. I'm stuck in the maze. Who knows where that's taking me? Uh, could be just going around in loops. Uh, there's the brown sack. So, yep, that's just going around all over the place. So, and I have died. So, unfortunately, I have died, and that is uh, pretty much the uh, the end right there. So, I hope you enjoyed it.